Hi world, it's uh, midday 30, it's the 30th of October 2015, it is the eve of All Hallows Eve, which has been bastardised into the thing that's known as Halloween. Um, I don't want to decry my pagan roots, nevertheless, you have to look at where All Hallows Eve originally comes from, and there's there's quite a lot of anecdotal evidence that suggests that it does come from the ancient garlic, um, from the the ancient Celts or garlic races uh, that occupied the northwestern fringes of the Atlantic Ocean. Um, they're very much given to only having two seasons of the year, summer and winter. And the summer starts at Beltane and the winter starts at Sawain. Sawain astrologically is in about five or six days time. It's around seven or eight for the month and it's halfway between uh, equinox and solstice. But the Christian church, especially under Pope Gregory, tried to remove Sawain and created it as All Saints Day or All Hallows Day or Hallows Eve, which became Halloween. But as the uh, garlic races knew and the pagan races still do know, it is at this time around Sawain that the gap between the worlds is at its thinnest. And according to some traditions, uh, this is when the more fair folk, the nebulous, the uncertain, has a stronger foothold into our reality. Hence the dressing up in some type of scary costume to scare off what is seen as the evil spirits. Whether that's true or not is a matter for one's own personal opinion. Nevertheless, there does seem to be some type of root around this time of the year as being the changeover from one of the two seasons into the other. And it is the time where in, in the 2000 years ago, the last of the crops would be picked and harvested and stored. The animals will be killed and the meat salted so as to last over the winter. And we would enter into three, four months of darkness until in bulk around the middle of February and the light really starts coming back. It's perhaps quite fitting at this time that we're seeing the end of the Venus Mars Jupiter conjunction and we're going to see it with quite a flourish. The triangle that's been caused by the three of these planets is now passing. Venus is now bearing down on Mars very rapidly and both of them are beginning to leave Jupiter alone. Uh, indeed, Venus will actually scrape by and to the naked eye it will seem as if it just touches Mars over the next 30, in about 36 hours from now. Of course it won't touch it. They're, they're billions of miles apart, millions and millions of miles apart. But to, from our Earth-based perspective, they will be no more than a hair's breadth apart. Venus will probably pass just to the southeast of Mars and it will seem as if they just briefly touch, if only for an hour or two. And um, when Venus and Mars come together, well, <laughs> it is generally seen as a time where romance, sensuality, sexuality, and relationship issues all begin to really flow well. Admittedly, this is in Virgo, where Mars is actually really comfortable, and Venus isn't, because Virgo is very functional, effective, disciplined and hard-working with strong attention to detail, which of course suits Mars's physical energy down to the ground. But when it comes to Venus's more leisurely, pleasure-driven, value-driven energy, the meticulousness of Virgo, Venus isn't that comfortable in Virgo. It can get a bit prissy, a bit uh, over-selective and fussy, and often a lot of people with Venus in Virgo will choose to be alone, not lonely, but alone, rather than compromise their values and settle for anything less than they think that they deserve. Uh, as we speak, the Moon is in Gemini, squaring Venus and Mars and Jupiter and Chiron, and today's one of those weird days. Uh, there will be a void Moon later from about, I don't know, 3 a.m. through to about 9 a.m. UK time, but it's only a small one and no big deal. It does seem that over the coming 36 to 48 hours from now, the veils between the worlds are going to be a bit thinner. And uh, anyone who is of a uh, mystical, magical, or at the very least intuitive 
bent in their lives is going to be in a much more sensitive space. There will be a lot of active dreams. And for those of you that are worried about this, then just practice being Teflon coated. Me, I should be going out there and thinking about what my ancestors can show me. It's a time to reconnect with the uh, multiverse, not just the universe. I'm doing today's video, I'm doing the videos for next month over the next uh, few hours, so I will be posting them live later today. And I'll catch you tomorrow morning when all the videos are up. So happy Halloween Eve. Catch you later, folks. Bye.